Удостоверение? Да. Эй, эй, все, мы уходим, мы уходим. Once we get across this water, we're going to be in mainland Ukraine. And the reason we're taking a train is because people who have been trying to cross the new Russian checkpoints between Crimea and the mainland have been stopped and uh, arrested and taken down to the security services in Sevastopol. The train is the safest option right now. This is Chongar. This is where the Russians have put up their new checkpoint and defense. Um, but we're going to go to the other side of it so that we can film it from the Ukrainian controlled side because it's safer that way. Not in Crimea anymore, this is mainland Ukraine. So we're here at the uh, Ukrainian checkpoint uh, before you get into Crimea. I think the Ukrainian army has just come down here in the last couple of days. They're digging in because the Russian army has brought their forces into the Ukrainian mainland. So they're actually outside of Crimea already and they're on a small peninsula jutting out of the Ukrainian mainland. And this is a sort of no man's area between this checkpoint and the checkpoint of the Russians 12 kilometers that way. So the Ukrainian military uh, has announced uh, a countrywide military drill. There's a lot of um, columns of uh, machinery and artillery heading south towards Crimea. But this is the last point at which they're sending the troops and so forth. And we're, we're going to interview um, the commander here at this checkpoint. Скажите, пожалуйста, вы давно этот блокпост здесь построили, поставили? Да, примерно где-то пять дней назад. Это не связано с военными учениями, которые сейчас проходят? Нет, уже это связано с тем, чтобы со стороны Крыма на Дюатерик не смогли пройти вооруженные люди или же перевести оружие. Как в ту сторону на материк, и так и с материка к ним. А также задержим агрессивно настроенных людей совместно с пограничными войсками. Насколько я понимаю, российские военные уже переместились с территории Крыма на территорию Херсонской области, расположились здесь. Не здесь, они на Чандаре. Чандар это Херсонская область, поэтому они пока находятся тоже на территории Херсонской области. То есть они не собираются убирать войска. Как вы думаете, они могут оттуда дальше в эту сторону двинуть? Не могу говорить, потому что нам этого неизвестно. Мы всегда готовимся к тому, что противник предпримет какие-то шаги, но мы к этому готовы. А можно нам в БТР залезть? Опа! Круто! This is a pretty heavy gun. А сколько людей может сюда вместиться? А? Сколько людей сюда может вместиться? Ну, здесь может вместиться в зависимости от того, как сидеть. Если так, полный бойков. Человек 10-12. Wow. Вместе с водителем. I don't know where you can put all those people. So this is the inside of a Soviet-built armored personnel carrier. It's got a pretty heavy machine gun over here, a lot of ammunition, and all of it's pointed at Crimea. Когда видим, допустим, убийцу грабителя, мы же не говорим, не делим его на национальность. Ты русский, значит, я тебя прощу. Нет. Ты завоеватель. 
пожалуйста, мы тоже будем отражать атаку. Для нас не играет роли, кто он. Это наша страна. Мы с ними будем бороться. These soldiers, they seem like nice guys, but you got to take into consideration that over the last 22 years since the collapse of the Soviet Union, Russia's been involved in a number of conflicts on its own territory and beyond, and Ukraine has been totally peaceful. So few of these soldiers are going to have any real battle experience. Commander just told me he didn't want us filming their forwardmost positions. Those are their little secrets. We're not going to get in their hair. here on the Ukrainian side. Now we're going to head to the Russian checkpoint, see what the vibe is there. A week ago, this was just a highway between one podunk town in Ukraine and another, and now it's turning into an international boundary. The Russians have put a barbed wire fence and mined that field. I'm a little bit more nervous here because, because some journalists who have been going through the Russian checkpoints have had their equipment stolen and have been arrested. There's been two groups already that have gone missing and then showed up in Sevastopol in the office of the security services. And I'm hearing the Berkut riot police officers who were fighting the protesters in Kiev a lot of them came from Crimea, and the Berkut has been disbanded, but now that they're back home, the Russians have reinstated it, and they're manning this checkpoint. They wear the blue uniforms. А нам разрешено заходить снимать? Пресса? Удостоверение? Да. Ваши фото. Сейчас, сейчас. Удостоверение при готовке мужчины. Мы уходим!
Canada. Fuck man, the barracoot, they just yeah. grabbed us. They grabbed Freddy. They took us behind the corner, yeah. questioned us, went yeah. through our pockets, took all our stuff, looked at our passports. I think we were saved by the fact that I'm American no, 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 and he's we British and they didn't want to create an international incident. And I was telling them, how can you grab us like that? We're unarmed, we're not a threat. All we've got is cameras. And he was like, one of the guys in a mask, he's looking at me and he's going, how do I know you're not unarmed? I saw your cameraman with a knife. I saw the other cameraman, he had a gun and you're trying to tell me you were unarmed. We know you're not unarmed, we know what you're up to. That kind of talk, basically just bracing us. Um, eventually it calmed down a little bit and they, they let us go. We were very lucky.